And the medical doctor, Obina Eberim, now joins me for more insights on this. The, uh, thank you for joining us on, on the news. The WHO commended Nigeria with the way it has handled the outbreak of the coronavirus. And now we have just confirmed a second case. What does this mean, looking at what's happened on a global scale? So um, I think that what that means is that we have done the minimum that we are supposed to do as a country, which is to ensure that we have um, a coordination team, we have a response team, we have the laboratories, we have a clear way to manage an index case, as you have seen in the case of the Italian, how it was managed, isolated, taking care of his identity not revealed, the communication according to um, um, the appropriate guideline, and also the one that got the recommendation. We shared the genome um, to WHO in a, a, a record time, uh, and that got us a recommendation. So as a minimum, we are doing what we are supposed to do, and I really, at this point need to commend the NCDC for standing up their responsibility at this time. Well, the cases of coronavirus seem unabated with reports emerging from many countries. Do you foresee any end in sight soon? Yeah, and for me, the, the, the end would be when we have the appropriate drug and vaccine to first vaccine to protect people from getting this disease and also uh, a drug that is curative. So I think that until when we get to that point, there might not be um, a near end to this. But that does not take away the fact that as a people, we must do the minimum things, which is wash our hands as often as possible, use our hand sanitizers when we don't have access to uh, water and soap, and also make sure that we do not um, rub our eyes, mouth, and nose, and as much as possible, maintain general um, uh, hygiene. Well, as a doctor, would you say so far Nigerians have been you know, responding to taking precautionary measures as against contracting this virus? So um, from the urban uh, place where I live, I would say, yes, there is an increased awareness. People are aware. People are trying to. You can see that the shops, the, um, the sanitizers are all sold out. People are now trying to make sure they have it in their places of business. So I think from the in the urban setting, the awareness is high. People are responding, but I, I, I won't say that for the rural area. So we must find a way to put these messages in a way that people can understand in the local languages and make sure that we use news media like radio and all that that permeates those inner communities because those are the places we need this information and people to apply the right precaution. Well, a medical doctor, Obina Iberim, thank you so much for joining us on the news.